Welcome, Welcome to Own or Disown, where tech decisions are made easy. Hi, this is Stephen from Own or Disown. Now, in this video, I just wanted to show you how to increase the speed of your CPU, now primarily on an MSI laptop. Now, your CPU under load will likely thermal throttle, in which case an undervolt will help. Or you can lower the power limits or it may also power limit throttle, in which case the IMON tweak will help. Now, thermal throttling reduces the CPU speed because of heat. Power limit throttling limits the CPU speed to its rated TDP. The reasons for power limit throttling could be one of three things. It could be the per processor power limits, the PL1 and PL2 are set too low, or the core voltage limit is set too low, or the system doesn't have enough cooling and power delivery for the workload you are asking the laptop to do. Now, I will be using my MSI GE77HX for this, and that has an i7-12800HX CPU and an RTX 3070 Ti. Now, I will be selling this laptop, so if, uh, if you are interested and you, are, you live in the US, just let me know in the comments or shoot me an email. The first stage is called the IMON tweak, and the second, which everyone should be aware of, um, is uh, undervolting. You undervolt the core and the cache. So enter the BIOS by pressing probably the delete key before post. Then you need to enter the advanced BIOS, and you do that by pressing uh, the left alt, uh, the F2 key, uh, the right control, and right shift at the same time. Now this, of course, is just on an MSI laptop. Now go over to the advanced tab, then to the overclocking and performance option. Enable the overclocking feature. Then go to the CPU lock option and disable the overclocking lock. Now this will allow you to undervolt and do the IMON tweak. Within the processor section, apply a voltage offset to the core. I set mine to minus 150 millivolts. Yours may vary, so experiment to see what is stable. Now also apply an undervolt to the cache, which is marked as ring in the MSI BIOS. Now you will have to start lower with a safe negative 25 millivolts and work your way up. I settled at uh, negative 55 millivolts. Okay, now we move on to the IMON tweak. What this does is overcome power limit throttling. Under power and performance, find the CPU VR settings, then core VR settings, and set the IMON slope to 50. Now what this does is it reduces the reported TDP by 50%. So in my case, even though the long-term power li uh, limit PL1 is 200 watts in the BIOS, in its memory, it is set at about 128 watts. Now I recall when I first got this laptop, it was, this was more like 115 watts. And no matter what I did to the power limits, it would not go over, the, over this, and indeed would drop the watts lower. Now an MSI update has fixed this, but the i1 tweak still works, although to a lesser extent on this machine than it did before. So an IMON slope of 50 reports the TDP as 50% of 128 watts, which is 64 watts. Then you apply an IMON offset to bring this lower still. So if your CPU is a 45 watt chip, you'll need to bring it to below 45 watts. Then um, the max you can put in here is uh, 31,999, which if you divide by 1,000 represents 32 watts. Applying an offset prefix of minus will mean that my CPU will think it's using 64 watts minus the 32 watts, which is 32 watts or thereabouts. Now this tricks the CPU into thinking that it doesn't need to lower the CPU speed to meet the base TDP of your processor, which in my case is 55 watts for the, the 12800HX. It thinks it's already at 32 watts, but in reality it is still at 128 watts. Now I hope that makes sense to you. Now, I also applied the same settings to the GT VR settings. I'm not sure if it is needed, to be honest, but it didn't hurt anything. Now, like I said, when I first got this machine, it would probably get at best around about 20,000 points in Cinebench R23 multi-core test. Now, with the stock BIOS, the CPU is using 129 watts. The two cores do thermal throttle, and the performance cores are mostly at 3,691 MHz, with occasional dips to 3,591 MHz. This results in a score of 20,674 multi and a single core of uh, 1,773 points. So just using the IMON tweak with no undervolt, you can see that the HW info reports that the CPU is power at 30 watts. Now you know this is not real because the CPU is still hitting 96 degrees on one of the cores. There's no way it could do that at 30, 30 watts. The clock speed is still bouncing between 3,591 and 3,691 megahertz. Um, but the score is slightly higher at 20,830 points. 
So although it is no longer being power limited, limited, it is being thermally limited. So let's apply the undervote and see what we get. The CPU is pulling 28 watts. You can see the 150 millivolt undervote, but still we get some thermal throttling on a couple of cores. And this is using the max fan and all of the tests. The CPU clock speed is much, uh, much higher now. It's fluctuating between uh, 3791 MHz and 3891 MHz. The undervote to the CPU cache makes a huge difference. So make sure you actually do that. Now the score is now 21,661 points. So about 1,000 points extra, which isn't too shabby for a couple of minutes work. The single core scores also go up. As stock, we've got uh, 1,773 points. With just the IMON tweak and no undervolt, we got 1,818 points. And then with the IMON tweak uh, and the undervolt, we got 1,826 points. So there's a slight improvement in single core performance. Now I wanted to see how this translates to, say, some gaming. So I fired up Shadow the Tomb Raider and set it to 1080p using medium settings so as to make it you know, a, a little bit more CPU dependent. I showed a stock BIOS at the top. In the center is with just the IMON tweak, and at the bottom, the undervolt and IMON tweak together. At stock, we got 172 FPS. The IMON tweak alone bumped that up to 175, and adding the undervolt, we got 177 FPS. So although not large, you do see a 3% gain nonetheless, and you may see more benefits in games that are more CPU dependent. Now, every laptop is different, so you might see a greater or lesser of an improvement than I did on my current system. Now, even though I believe the I'm on settings option is mainly available on MSI laptops, I have heard reports that you can do it on Razer if you get access to their advanced BIOS. Now, undervolting is a topic that we have talked about for years, but unfortunately, more and more OEMs are locking it out at the BIOS level. For Intel's 13th gen, you'll need an, either an HK or an HX processor. If it, is, if it is possible, you can also use XTU or Throttle Stop on an Intel system. For AMD Ryzen, you can use the Universal X86 Tuning Utility, which was previously known as the AMD APU Tuning Utility. I will test this in the near future. Now, I hope this video does help you out, and if you found it useful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye now.